Hello and welcome to the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We are at the weekend of August the 16th, 2020. Last week you learned in the Gospel of Matthew 14 verses 22 to 33. That was the story when Jesus walked on the water and he said, do not be afraid. Peter walked on the water because Jesus was there with him. The disciples said, truly, you are the son of God. We learned that God is always here to help us. Miss Taryn asked you to write on a handprint about how to help others. I hope you did that. Here's our opening prayer for today. Dear Jesus, Help me to learn to ask you for what I need and to always pay attention to the needs of my family and my community. Amen. Pay attention to this picture very closely. It seems like the little girl is doing something. You're right. She's asking her mother for something or she's asking the grown-up, whoever the grown-up may be. I wonder what the grown-up's answer is going to be. Have you ever asked for something? Have you ever asked for something and had the answer be no? I wonder what you did then. Well, in today's Gospel reading, a woman from Canaan needed something from Jesus. She trusted in him and she had faith that he could help her. Let's listen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. May your word be yours on my mind, on my lips, and on my heart. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did homage to Jesus, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. Jesus was surprised and happy by the way the woman had faith that he would help her. Jesus wants us to trust God and to tell God exactly what we need. When we pray this way, we are praying prayers of petition. When we pray prayers of petition, boys and girls, we bring our requests or our askings before God for ourselves, for our friends, and for our families. Here are some examples of prayers of petitions. You might recognize them from when you go to church. Prayers of petition are read during Mass, but they can also be read any other time outside of Mass. You can create prayers of petition on your own for what your needs are. For the persistence to pray for what is needed, we pray to the Lord. And your answer is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the well-being of the families in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are alone, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or have died, we pray to the Lord. And we ask all these prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. See if you can create some prayers of petition this week on your own when you say your bedtime prayers or any time during the day. I'm going to include this coloring page or this activity page on the website 
Or you can easily draw a heart and trace the words, Lord, hear our prayer at the bottom. Your petition could go inside the heart. Remember, we're praying for ourselves, for our families, for our communities. Here's a reminder. This week, we're really excited to tell you about St. Michael's at home virtual vacation Bible school. That means there's going to be five separate videos online on our website that you and your family can watch anytime you like. You might want to watch one every day. You might want to watch one every week, but you can use all five of those videos to learn about something called compassion. There's music, there's prayers, there's an activity, and we hope you visit those videos as many times as you like because they'll be right on the website for you to access. If you look at our website, it's stmichaelfe.com, and you can look under the tab called Kids Stuff. There's actually an S missing there, but you can look under Kids Stuff and see all of those five videos starting this weekend. So that brings us to the end of our video for this week. I'd like to remind you to go back and draw your petition inside the heart and pray that petition often with your family. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend.